Jeff, Arizona Hot Homestead. This video is connecting the DC part of my battery bank. So just a little refresher. This is 8S605 Surratt batteries. So I have 24 volts there and I have 24 volts here. Then I parallel them and we learn that series increases volts and parallel increases amps. On a battery bank you can only have one positive and one negative. That guy there with all those wires is my main positive. This wire here is coming from my charge controller into there. This wire right here is coming over to the other bank because it's wired in parallel. This one here is going to go to my inverter. The other red one coming out of here, that one actually comes out through here and over into that bus bar there. You want to then go the opposite negative not that negative but this negative is your negative to your battery bank if I would have did this one as my positive then my negative would have had to been that one clear over there so I got positive negative same story this black comes in from the charge controller this black connects the two 24 volts into parallel so I get increased amperage this one here is going to go to the inverter this one here is going to come through and it goes over to the bus bar over there. So on this bus bar, here's what I have. This line right here is coming in from the batteries. So this is the main one. This one is going to the RV. This one is going over here to this converter. Then on the negative bus bar, this one is coming in from the battery. This one's going out to the RV. This one's going over here to the converter. These are six gauge wires. These here goes into this converter. This is a step down converter. It will take a 24 volt down to 12 volts. And if you were watching my overview, components overview, I gave you a little bit more detail on this one. And so coming out of this, you have your two wires. They say this one's positive and this one's negative. So I take the white one here which is my positive and I bring it up and I bring it into this fuse here that's a 20 amp fuse I actually just took it out for now it's a 20 amp fuse and the wiring that I'm using from here on will be 12 gauge and 12 gauge wiring is perfect for 20 amps then I did the same type of thing with the black went just wire tied them together and then this is my black my negative so I have it tucked inside here and it's coming up it goes up the side here have it go over the, the doorway and I have it coming behind that shelf so what we have hopefully this lighting is alright for you but what we actually have here is this red right here this red right, I don't know how well you can see it, that red right there that is coming in from the 12 volt converter one of these blacks are also coming in from the 12 volt converter the other black and the white those are going to the the light fixtures the red's actually coming in and the red is actually I don't know how well you can see it in there but there's a twist tie there so there's a red that comes in that twist ties to this red right here that goes over here to a small inverter then there's a jumper that goes from there up here to this piece here then down here is my white it comes out here and goes up this way over to my lights the black however just comes in goes into a twist tie so that one of the black goes here and then the other black goes up to the lighting and that's how I got that switch wired up and then and then my uh, inverter my inverter is just I don't know that's a thousand watt inverter from Harbor Freight so nothing fancy but it gives me some some power that I could use for gives me some power that I could use on this uh, 
the strip right here. But yeah, and the lights that I'm going to be using are going to be these LED guys. They are, how well that's going to come out, but 12 volts, 7 watts, white. They look just like that. So and then I got the line coming up through here, going over here. Coming along here, and boom, there's one of them. There's a second one, and then there's a third one down there. And these boxes, these boxes here, they have, uh, they're just round junction boxes, and they add a nail there and a nail there, so it makes it easy to nail onto the uh, 2x6. This guy here is just a cheapo. Uh, dollar fifty dollar fixture and then I got my light so this is going to provide some DC lighting for my shed and what's nice about this is I can have my main inverter off and still have light in my shed and that's the whole purpose of it so so that takes care of the DC lighting for the shed don't forget to like subscribe share comments and gotta subscribe because I got more solar coming up. I gotta do the inverter, I gotta do the solar panels, I got all kinds of stuff. So, see you on the next video.